you guys, it's Christina, and today we are gonna be making minestrone soup. Mmm. Minestrone is not only a favorite of mine, but a favorite of many. So today we are gonna be making the fully raw version of this delicious and nutritious recipe. Unlike traditional soups, this soup will not be cooked. However, it will be ginormous, epic, delicious, and full of flavor and savor and zest. Are you ready to make this yummy soup? Can you say, Mamma Mia? For this delicious minestrone soup, you're first gonna make the base of your soup using the juice of approximately 10 to 15 ripe beefsteak tomatoes and the juice of one red bell pepper. And just be sure to strain it at least a few times. And for all of the veggies that you're gonna put into your yummy soup, you're going to need approximately one to two zucchinis, either diced or spiralized into noodles, approximately one cup of sliced or diced carrots, about a half of a cup of chopped mushrooms, one cup of fresh baby spinach, and these can be whole or cut up, a quarter cup of fresh chopped leeks or even green onions, approximately one cup of chopped celery, approximately one cup of sliced cherry tomatoes, a half to one cup of cilantro and Italian leaf parsley, a little bit of sage, and a few sprigs of oregano and thyme. And for those of you who want a little kick, you can always add a pinch of cayenne pepper. You will also need one large minestrone soup bowl. I've gone ahead and I've pre-juiced my tomatoes with my bell pepper to make this absolutely rich, red-looking broth. And it is so, so delicious. If you want, you can add a little bit of celery in here to make it salty as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour our tomato soup base into our minestrone soup bowl. And then when you're ready, start adding in all the rest of your toppings. So we're gonna add in a little bit of zucchini, a little bit of mushrooms, a little bit of tomato, a few leaves of spinach, some green onions, some leeks, some Italian parsley, a little bit of carrots, and a sprinkle of oregano and thyme. So that's as easy as it gets. Our minestrone soup is done. Doesn't this look absolutely divine and savory and just like minestrone soup? If you want the flavors to be stronger, simply let them sit in your tomato broth for a little longer. So you ready for the final taste? Let's give it a try. Done it again. It tastes so good. This is a cold soup and it is savory and it is delicious and you can share it with your family and your friends. If you guys wanna give this soup a try, please give this recipe a thumbs up. <laughs> if you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen making fully raw recipes together. If you guys are participating in the 21 Day Fully Raw Challenge, be sure to like this video and comment below on if you're excited to try it or not. Don't forget to leave your email in the link of the description of this video if you wanna get the free ebook at the end of the challenge. If you're wanting to follow me daily and see what I'm making or see what I'm eating, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I am gonna go and finish the rest of this epic looking bowl right here, and I hope that you guys go and get to do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. Unlike traditional soups, this soup, 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 I can't say soup, hoop, there it is. <laughs> Mistrani. Minestrone. Minestrone. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Um Are you ready? Can you say Mamma Mia? Awesome.